Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So if your avatar is too big in file size, so let's say 60 megabytes or 100 megabytes, today I'm going to be showing you five things that you can do to reduce this size. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you can do is you can reduce texture resolution and use crunch compression on your textures. So how you would do this is you would double click on your avatar, extend your material here, and you're going to extend the color and normals and click on the texture click on this map, and if it's 4K here, you can set it to 2K, and you can also use crunch compression right here, and then just hit apply. I do really intricate textures, and I do have to say that using crunch compression doesn't really destroy your textures, but it does save you a lot in the file size. The next thing you can do is you can remove any audio sources that your avatar might have. Now, if it's the audio sources that you actually use, then of course you don't want to delete them, but if you do, then you can search for the audio right here, uh, or you can just go through your basically files and find the files that you don't want and just delete those audio files and, and that will save you some space. Another thing you can do is you can remove animations. Now, if your avatar has like default animations like dances and stuff and emotes that you just do not use at all, you can definitely remove them and this will save you a lot of space. How you would do this is you would basically find the name of the animation and then just remove it. How animations look is basically like this. Now, do keep in mind this is how your toggles look like as well, but this is how also how your animations look. So you can just type the name of the animation here or you can click on your avatar and go through your menu right here. Then, and then usually here you're going to see emotes or expressions. You can select that and then you can just remove it there. And of course, delete it from your parameter list as well. This doesn't really matter, but it does, but it does uh, clean up your avatar a bit. So you just want to select the parameter, then delete. This will also save you a lot of space. Next thing you can do is you can remove unwanted assets. Now, if your avatar has some assets, so let's say clothing or a pistol or something that you just are not using ever, Definitely remove these as it'll save you a lot of space. Uh, depending on what you're trying to delete, it can either be on the root of your avatar or you would have to go through your hips, spine, chest, neck and delete it from wherever it's attached to. Next thing you can do is you can remove physic bones. If you have some unwanted physic bones that you just uh, find useless or you just don't use or you just want them gone, definitely delete those as well because that's going to also save you a lot of space. Depending again on what is the thing that you're trying to remove, it's either the ear or like a necklace or a bracelet, then you have to find it in the root of your avatar and then just delete it. This is just kind of like a bonus thing, but you can use Poly Tool. Now do remember, it costs money. The Poly Tool actually does everything automatically for you and it just kind of basically saves you a lot of time and it just kind of crunches your avatar by default and it saves you a lot of space and decreases its megabyte size. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if I missed something. And yeah, I'll see you around. Peace.